Yeah, as uh, good a start as you can after a big drubbing. There's a big, oh, huge hit from Hamannick. Davies is going to fight. Justin Hamannick is going to have to fight Duggan as well. And it's all going off in the corner. As the captain trying to spark something through a huge open ice hit on Waller, I believe it was. And controversy again in the Sky Dome. It all kicked off against Guildford last week. It's all kicked off again here as Mickelson and Thompson are wrestling. Right at the death of the uh, first period, Hamannick will go straight to the uh, dressing room. Be interesting to see what has been called there, because obviously he'll have got a five-minute major for the for the fighting, so he'd be directly off anyway. Yep. So we can't really infer anything from that. The main thing is Josh Waller's up and yeah. under his own steam and looking okay. It's good to see it's a real test out there. Finishes another hit there, but that one is late. Uh, he's going to go after Toussignon now, and here we go. But now he comes in fighting. They're both down to the ground quickly, so it's not going to be real punches thrown here now. But you can sense that one was boiling over. Two very tough guys, both on either side. Brandon McNally, Matthew Toussignon as well for the Panthers. McNally came in with speed and took him down straight away. So I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, wouldn't, I don't think you're going to see it again in this game. But maybe tomorrow night, maybe in future games between these two sides, those two, I'm sure, are going to have a good fight to go. Hit comes in this time from Springer. Another cross check coming in, and Springer wants to register. Springer wants Mickelson. These guys are going to go, and they've gone to the floor. There's an extra couple got in from Springer while the guys are down, and I think the officials are going to look at that one, maybe. McNally over the top. The Devils are not slowing down. Oh, and that was a late hit. That's going to be a penalty. And Lewis is going after Keaton Ellaby. He's dropped the gloves. And Ellaby is down. And the punches went in on Ellaby, who was down on the ground. And the Steelers didn't like that. But Lewis didn't like the hit that came in. And he went after Ellaby. And when Ellaby was on the ground, the punches continued. And that's got the Steelers riled up. Oh, Con sorry, Connolly is having words with me. Davis goes straight towards net. Brandt goes down. Crowd want a penalty. McNally wants to finish. McNally's going to stole this one. There's a few hands going here. McNally. He's going to get an instigator on this one, I think. He's throwing hands. There's not much coming back. I can't quite see what that is in a Fife jersey at the moment, but I don't think there was much of a take an invitation to start with this line was here to put energy against the home team and that's exactly what McNally did he wasn't happy with the non-call on Riley Brunt and takes matters into his own hand as well the Devils only had four on the ice I think there was a, a line change that somebody didn't recognize McNally's gonna go here we got an old-fashioned drop the gloves at ice is Wilson and McNally Throw it a few rights, McNally, as does Wilson. They need to get untied here. Good left from Wilson, takes McNally down. And as soon as the guys go to the ice, the linesmen are going to step in. I felt that one out of... Oh, Waller does brilliantly to avoid the hit as well. Kugler sends him the other way in. Sanford looking for the hat-trick. Just misses. There's a fight behind the play, though. Matt Register... Jamal Watson going at it. Redster with two right said doesn't quite connect though. Watson goes to the left. Watson just... Well, that fight didn't really get started. The two guys couldn't really get themselves untangled. I think Redster may have taken a bit of exception from the hit that Watson tried to make on Waller. Waller did a great job of avoiding it, but that's good character from a guy like Matt Redster. Sees the youngest guy on the team get lined up. He can handle himself by dodging it. But you still want to send a message that you don't want that happening to your young Cox across to Sanford, couldn't quite stick on it, takes another shot, hat trick, goal Sanford. And a bit of afters as well for it, the pass across for Trevor Cox went into the skates of Cole Sanford, and Sanford recovered well to get his stick on it. Buries his hat trick, that makes it a 5-1 game. Speaking of five, there may be a couple of fives handed out after this one as well. 
Hoogler's being escorted away. I did say at the end of the second period, and there's another fight coming now. Trevor Cox, just about to see it now. Alex Yuli's got him down. Trevor Cox managed to get back up. Yuli with the takedown. I mean, I've seen weird goal celebrations before. This might be a bit of a strange goal celebration. There's a couple of hats on the ice, a few gloves, a few sticks, and a couple of players go into the box. The only thing that matters, though, is that Cole Sanford has a hat-trick. Jordan Boucher. Boucher drives down the right side. Oh, and he's taking a big hit of center eye. Sam Dugan. My apologies, Riley Grant. And that looked like a fur hit. Got a bit of a reach on him here. Dugan gets the first hit in. And Sam Dugan with the right, the right, the right. Tries to go for the uppercut. The fans are on their feet here at the SSC Arena. Dugan comes in on a big finish at one. With a right from Sam Ruyop. And he takes Sam Dugan down. That's been building for the last two minutes. And Sam Ruop, he's, he's a funny character around the dressing room, but he's a big boy and I would not like to be fighting him. And look at the crowd at the SSC Arena. What a battler Wayne McLeod is. We don't know the story. Well, we've got a fight. Speaking of battlers, it's Lewis and Springer. We talked about Springer off the top. He's not afraid to mix it up. And Mark Lewis, one of the toughest guys in the league. Lewis trying to throw a couple of left hands. And wow, it takes three officials to try and break this up. I'm not sure that was the smartest decision by the linesman to get in there as Lewis was still trying to throw some punches there. The last thing you want, had to cram. This should lift the gears of the Cardiff Devils, that's for sure. So there we go, the buzzer goes after the second period here on Dundee Stars Live. We've got a wee stramash in behind Morrison's goal. On this buzzer, a 2-1 to go lead for the Stars at this stage of the game. And uh, there's going to be some penalties coming off the back of this as well. Riding down, the Stars captain involved. Not sure what's going to come of that one. McNally getting the... Uh, oh, and he's taking an extra penalty there as well. McNally, a wry smile. Oh, and he's... Well, he's going to be in trouble here. Poirier yep. gets shoved in the back of the head. So, yeah, he's uh, possibly for some uh, extended time on the bench in this game. He's still going, McNally. He needs to stop this now or he's going to get himself in a bit of bother. Porter, he's not having any of that. Oh, and he's still oh. going here. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, that was crazy, from crazy. From McNally. One. Complete indiscipline from the Devils, number 74. Oh, he's, what's going on here? Absolutely ridiculous behaviour from the fan there. That's unacceptable behaviour. Uh, a nice hockey game for sure. And uh, the Cardiff Devils just should probably just head to the dressing room now. Get this all done and dusted. Well. It was going so well, it's ruined it now. Jeez, oh. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Unbelievable. So, referee's got some work to do then. The captains in the ref's crease get word of their decisions and we'll bring them to you as soon as possible. Dave walks in, eh, halfway through the game start. Blaming you for that, Dave. Yep, <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> wow. 
certainly all sorts of crazy stuff going on here tonight. Rhys Harrison says, watching the Cardiff Devils take on Dundee Stars on TV. <laughs> Let's hope the Devils can make a comeback and show <laughs> what we're really made of. Well, you certainly have made the comeback. You've certainly made an impression at the end of that um, period, and there was all sorts of chaos. That is absolute yeah. chaos. All, all this is chaos. actually more chaotic than the Fredo's nonsense the other night. I can't believe what I've just, I crazy, believe what I've just seen there. That's absolute Absolutely. nonsense. Ludicrous. Well, do you know what I thought? In all fairness, Sergeant Slaughter, he had it under control. Almost. He wasn't really expecting it to be No, there, I was, was expecting that. No. Like the Spanish Inquisition, you know? I'm sure he would have got involved if he needed it. So, uh, i tell you what I would have loved there. The ref to be mic'd up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how cool would that have been? Who knows what went, who knows what was said down there, and who knows what transpired in the crowd. Exactly. But, uh, Where are your Premier Sports when you're needed with your mic'd yeah. up stuff? <laughs> Palms just went off on Deja Dan, now in down. Mickelson has his pocket pick, Carruth puts another glove on that one, but... And Riley Brands dropped the gloves here. He was not happy with what was going on here. And now there's a few thrown hands. Sean Richards and Riley Brand are going to go. Brands thrown another one. Richards is throwing bombs back. Brands throw one. Two feisty competitors with pride in their jersey going back and forth. Richards taking the charge of this one towards the end. And the officials are going to come in. A little tap <laughs> on the cheek from Riley Brand is a thank. Effort goes wide. Bounces back out for Starrett. And McNally being dealt with by Cody Saul there. And both men going at it. Bit of a grapple between Cody Saul and Brendan McNally. Six foot six versus six foot two. Cody Saul tries to land a right punch. McNally getting a couple of shots in as well. And McNally tumbles under the weight of Cody Saul. Support. It's opened up. Caruth saves. 13 seconds remain. And Caruth's not happy with that. And this is almost a goalie fight. Caruth is actually fighting <laughs> a forward who's dropped the gloves. It was bound to happen. I didn't think it'd be today. Can I just point out, it's taking him longer than I thought it was. 
I mean, you kind of have to wait for a goalie. Well, his shirt's off, his everything's off. Starrett doesn't seem to be moving. Although Karuk's looking upwards. <laughs> Mickelson gets this puck in deep, Sachru Danielson back for the Steelers. Phillips for whistle, oh we've got ourselves a fight, it's Brandt at centre ice. And the punches are coming in with Traversa. How about this for a tangle, a bit of more of a wrestling match by the end of it. But the home crowd is on its feet, Tromasso Traversa. And Riley Brandt. It all got started behind the play. Not sure what it was that caused the gloves to be dropped. I suspect they'll both just get five for fighting, but we will wait to see if that is confirmed. Brandt with the first good punch. Traversa with a couple over the top. And wrestled him down to the ice. So we'll stay. The Devils enter the zone on the left wing side, moving centrally. This is dangerous. This is Cox. He's trying to outweigh Brust. He moves it back. It must be. Oh, they've hit the post. The Devils haven't scored and they had an open goal. They hit the crossbar in the first period. They've hit the post here in the second. And now Eberle the other way. Shot on. Oh, there's a tangle behind the play. It's Kugler and it's Dowd. And the officials are going to step in and break it up. It's all action here in the second period. And somehow it's still scoreless. No idea what caused the fight. And no idea how the Devils didn't take the lead. And here was Cox who was patient, waited out. Brust, look how far he was dragged out of the goal. And then register with the shot that hits the post. Did that take a deflection on the way? like it might have done oh, here's the fight a little stick tap there and then Kugler and then the gloves are off and that one never really got going as Kugler lost his balance and Dowd landed the only punches that really mattered with Brody Reed but I don't think anything is going to come from that but uh, choosing on McNally now McNally's not going to and now they're going to drop the gloves these two went last time in this building choosing on scoring McNally with a right and another with McNally and a further few, McNally's in the ascendancy with this one, and he sends Toussignon to the ice. I think these two guys might be thrown out for fighting while the whistle had gone down. So what we're going to talk about tonight, Dave, on a, a Dreek night in Dundee? Good question. That's not up to me and you, I don't think. Yeah, that's right. Someone on the internet, start up the conversation. <laughs> we're giving you free reign. What we're talking about, hashtag Dundee Stars Live. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go, this is what we're talking about. Talking about this now, Lewis and Haas go toe to toe. Get a hold, and Haas starts swinging. Grapple on, and down they go. Well, no punches landed there, I don't think. A couple of very large, very strong players get that one out the way in the opening minute. And it's certainly got the crowd applauding already. Oh, I think Lewis has hurt his hand actually. May have uh, contacted the helmet perhaps. He's going to go off and get that scene to. Yeah, he's holding his, uh, his hand. He's moved across to the penalty box, so he'll get some treatment. Hope to see him back shortly. We'll have some shenanigans to get this game underway. Well, we asked what people were going to... I mean, they must have heard us on the ice. <laughs> As a result, one of them's in there. The old treatment room now getting some, I say duct tape, that's bandage probably. I don't know what you, I don't know what I'm punching people, Dave, so I don't know what you put on your hand when that happens. <laughs> Good discussion going on down there. Center and passes. Oh, we said a couple of weeks ago, that's exactly. McNally Ooh. goes in on Jones, I'm not quite sure what this is about. And there's another re receipt coming in from the port, and the gloves. Are, oh, sorry, it's not. It's Southam who's uh, jumped in on McNally. Those gloves are off now. Be interested to see if there's the instigator on Southam here. McNally can't seem to get his 
arm free. So I'm sort of couple of good rights. Another few good rights. Now McNally's getting free. These two still want to go at it. Back and forth. Just can't get it clean. You kind of just want these two to get a bit of separation. Few jabs, few rights. Lions better letting them go as long as they can. McNally's got his arm free now and they go to the ice. That's two men who are having a really good account of themselves playing for the badge on the front of the jersey. Karotza in over. Richard shoots. Nice save by Karuth. Karuf not happy as he gets bumped into again, but I think Richard's just uh, only have a bit of a coming to here. Richards and Lewis, see if they're going to pair off. I don't think the linesmen are going to uh, let those guys get loose. I'm not sure I'd want to get loose with Mark Lewis either. He's not happy, obviously. And now we have Register joining in. Lewis is still throwing punches over the linesman here. Oh, oh big punch there coming in. And the linesman's in. Lewis just throwing punches on him and the linesman have to grab him. Like He's going to be out of the game. I mean, Richards took a couple of big shots there. Uh, yeah, he got hit pretty hard, I think. Yeah, he's, he's, he's leaking, I think. I mean, Mark Lewis jumping to the aid of his goalie. Obviously, as you expect, linesmen are in there. Lewis is going to be, I imagine, kicked out of this game. Still a bit of pushing and shoving. Big Tets is in there. Oli Betrich in, shoots. Nice save again by Carruth. And oh, big hit on Oli Betrich behind the play. And we might see a scrap here as bodies pile in. Betridge down on the ice there. And now Mark Matheson's tied up. Mark Matheson, the gloves are off here. We don't see that too often. He's throwing punches. And we have Matheson and McNulty here behind the net. Those two are tied up there. Both guys getting a couple in. Now uh, McNulty throwing a few there. Matheson, those guys are tied up pretty good. One over the top there, there and the lines will come in. Great play by Mark Matheson there. You know, you see someone like Ollie Betridge <coughs> take a hit that he did. Great to see Mark Matheson jump in. Not sure I've seen him have a fight since his time in, in the Elite League for here or Sheffield. Wide. Holmes is there on the back check for his team, but as it's stripped away from him. Oh, Cox and We've got to get Cox and Combs going here. Well, well, well. They've been at each other all night. And we're going to get a few thrown here. Cox takes a right. Combs with a few back. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, it's never about the size of the dogs in fights, it's the size of the fight in the dogs. And you won't get two better competitors in this Premier Sports Elite League. And there's a little high five as well. You love to see it.